edition ones, but they were just they went too fast. Yeah, they did. And I just I wanted them. I was bid on them. I bid on them and didn't get them. I was upset. Really? I was very hurt. But I wanted them. I don't. I want shoes that don't just lace up on their own these days. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yo yo yo, people, people this Nate here. This Kev. Hey, yo, we are Games Music Life. This is the Games Music Life podcast, episode one hundred and eighty. Yeah, man. Is it one hundred eighty? Yeah. Look at Shadow. Look at me getting it right on you first try. Yeah, you know I mean one eighty. Oh man. Of them things in the books. What's what going we gonna on? Do for two hundred, bro. Two hundred? Yeah. Got, you got to bring out another story like the vampire homie. Like the vampire homie. Yeah, okay. we got. You got another one in the tuck. I know I'm you sure do. I do, man. Yeah, I'm and then sure we got to try to get them on here. The vampire? Okay. I mean, you know the vampire. Homie. <laughs> I do, but yeah, I mean, I don't know if he wants to be on here though. Yeah, come on. I don't know if he's gonna talk about the vamping. Oh, we're gonna get him to talk about the vamping. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the first question. So, okay. vamping. Talk about it, huh? <laughs> These lights are gonna be on him too. The anime hey, sweat beads be coming down his face. At that point, he got he's coming in. He has to do it. It's a deeper, darker criminal link to that vamp life, though. Really? Yeah, man. So I want in. Okay. I want to know. I don't. Yeah. I don't have to get turned, do I? Uh, well, you didn't get turned. You, so I, you, mean, you I didn't know. get turned into a vampire. But yeah. I mean, listen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Folk be on one. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. What's <laughs> up, man? Hey, man. Chilling out. You know what I yeah. mean? Good, good, good Saturday night. Uh, yeah, yeah, vibes. yeah. Yeah. You know I mean? Getting it rocking Saturday night live. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. A little darker version. Yeah, absolutely. Got the, got the lights out. <laughs> yeah, man. College football started today. Man, yeah, that's right. Uh, you, it was was it Florida State, uh, Miami today? I have no idea. Listen, I'm a Florida State fan. Don't get me wrong. And mm-hmm. I've been getting dirty looks by everybody today. Okay. Um, from, this, from this sweatshirt. It's literally one of the only things in my closet that I can fit now. So... <laughs> I throw it on. It's really casual. I do wash it. I wouldn't think um, you were getting no heat from OSU fans. No, nah, not OSU fans, but a lot of people from church are like Florida fans. Oh, so okay. they'll, they'll give me a lot of crap. So uh, I'm like, whatever. I do the chomp on them. You know what I mean? Hey, Act like a fake uh, Florida, I mean, for, fake college football fan. Because I don't really watch college football like that. I mean, I watch my Buckeyes. I do. You know, I tend to watch the Buckeyes. Yeah. You're the only one of the only Buckeye fans I actually root like. Rock with though, Word. like Buckeye fans is what makes it bad. Like the fans make it bad. Like uh, because I'm gonna tell you what, when I, there's nothing better than getting on uh, the local 1460 the fan. I think it is uh-huh. when the Buckeyes lose and just hear how everyone's to blame, other than <laughs> just knowing these are just kids and they just lost the game. Amen. You know, but these fans go nuts. And I think it, I think it's kind of weird when cats know the high school players. Like, yeah, we got the five star recruit, mm-hmm. such and such his name, and you don't have a kid to play or anything like that. You literally just follow these high school kids because they're that going is to a weird. It's weird, lie. bro. Yeah, that's a little weird. That's a little weird. So I find it funny. See, I don't really rock with a lot of Ohio State fans. Okay. But the team, I do root for them. I love their colors. You know, yeah, man, local man, team. Buckeye, Buckeye City out here, bro. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What's good with you? Man, busy today, man. Took Amaya right. back to school this morning. Yeah. Um, you know, got her back in school. Uh, dropped her off early this morning on our way back. My wife almost killed me driving home. <laughs> um, it was a fun trip, Sound though. Like you jamming, though. We were. We were jamming. I found some <laughs> things out about my wife, some of, some of her music selections that she likes. That, hey, uh man. I, li- I didn't know. She was singing stuff word for word that I didn't know hey. um, that she knew. Yeah. But it was definitely a fun time. So I actually was looking at her with one eye, like, hold on now. How do you know this? You know? <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, she was set you clan. Hey, man, almost. <laughs> I I'm like, the B- double B's up, bro. Um, but no, it was a fun trip. Got her there. Had to race back. My mother in law rearranged my whole house. You know, now, like, oh, I love really? my mother in law. Love her to death. Okay. But she can't sit down. So, like, we leave, if, we, if we leave her by herself in her own, like, she hung up pictures we haven't hung up yet. Okay. Like as a mirror, I've been. She's getting stuff done. Girl, she got stuff done. I'm not gonna okay. lie. I was happy about it. You know, I was definitely happy about it. I appreciate it. She's still there. No, oh, well, they're, wow. they're just uh, she's hanging up stuff and doing stuff, and it's cool, man. The mother. How does she know where where stuff is supposed to go? Or where no, you no, she wants it. She goes where she wants it to go. You understand hey, it? Like it goes hey, where she. You see, brother, it goes. But see, that's brother. the thing. It just so happens brother, brother. where she <laughs> wanted it to go yeah. was okay. Uh-huh. Now we've had a discussion before. Whenever I, I've come home before, she was holding up my underwear. Like, listen, I love you. Mm-hmm. I love you, mother. But you got to stop. Hey, All right, I want you in my drawers. I want to get be, that close to you. She be building an in-law suite on you, bro. Oh, no. That's not <laughs> that's not, uh, no see, why would you say that? <laughs> no. no. Hey, man. Uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? I, I love you need it, a man. home away from home, brother. Uh, yeah. No. That's why, that's why I go to the wife. Like, you got to shut it down. Huh? Shut it, take this one for the team. You got to argue. Get it out of here. Oh, man. Throw the bomb in there, man. Um, but, yeah, man. It was uh, So I had to you know, race back. Um, and then you know, I had some stuff to do at the church, and then raced over to the pod, man. It's been hey, a busy day. Yeah, Fun, man. busy day, though. Sounds like it, bro. Fun, busy day. Man, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been you know, doing the same, ripping and running, man. Uh, but, you know, I spend all my time with my family. You want to yeah. know something that's crazy? What's that? Both sides, like my mom and my dad's side, they all know each other. You know, it's crazy you said that before. Maybe you told me that before. <laughs> and even some of your friends, like your friends that yeah. are integrated into the families, both, yeah. knowing both. And then, like, it'd be times you'll meet up and they're hanging out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or uh, some, I don't even have to be there. 
And uh, yeah, you know, hey, that's man. dope, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? It, we, it click tight, man. So yeah, yeah. It's, it, to me, I always think about it like, man, that's kind of crazy. Like, yeah, yeah like both but, sides. But not really not. though. If you trust each other, like you trust people, and having that tight, that tight knit, yeah. you know, organization, so to speak. That's dope, man. I, I welcome the day that uh, I can come around and you see me in the cut one day. Like, hey, dude, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hey, sitting there I can like, get here. He the double shooters. Like, hey, what's up, buddy? But you know? <laughs> a lot of it is, too, though. It's like, man, we all grew up together. So it's like, well, you know, I mean, these people I've known since I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, my, my house was a spot, too. Yeah. yeah during, during the summertime. Well, your, yeah, your dad yeah. was the big homie. Yeah, yeah. You know, so my that's. My dad held it down. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's Mom, too, though. Mom yeah, held yeah, down yeah, too. yeah, for sure. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, that's always been crazy to me. So I've, I've been putting putting pieces together, uh, yeah. you know what I'm saying, arranging things for. For, uh, for folks both sides, man. Yeah. But beautiful. Beautiful yeah. is going on. That's what's up, man. We all got to get together for breakfast again. Yeah. I would love to be there. There you go. All right, man. So let's start like we always do. What have we been playing? Mm-hmm. What have you been playing, bro? Oh, what have I been playing? I've been playing uh, Grand Theft Auto. Okay. Uh, playing Forza. Okay. And, uh, of course, 2K. Uh, the 2K20 demo. Uh, got some opinions about that. We'll talk about it. I played it. Okay. Um, but now, the, now this is going to be a bit of a shocking revelation to you, bro. Mm-hmm. So today, actually today, uh, the 24th of August, my mm-hmm. Xbox Live Gold expires. Oh. So at midnight, it's going to expire. I don't think I'm going to renew it. <laughs> really? I don't think I'm going to renew it, man. Really? I don't, I don't think, I, well, I'll let the cat out of the bag early. I don't think I'm going to buy 2K20, like up front. I'll probably buy, I'll buy it Talk at some point. It. But I'm probably just not gonna buy it, man. Really? Yeah. And I got a, I got a bone to pick with you too. But go ahead. So mm. 2K20, you're not gonna buy. It. Well, hold on. Why are you not gonna buy it? Uh, man, the the, the new game, man. It. What well, don't you like about it, Kev? It's the same. Really? It's, it's the same. Oh, they game. ripped down like, a 19 and just put a 20 up there. In a lot of ways, yeah, man. Like they made improvements. Don't get me wrong. Like, uh, but I thought the guards were supposed to be like the little guys supposed to be getting some shine on this one. Uh, I mean, that that is where they made improvements. Bro. Okay. So I mean, I, I'll give them their credit there. They they improved the way that the build works on the game and like how you can customize your player and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But as far as the mechanics of the game, nothing really changed. Really? Yeah. Like when I played the demo, bro, I was like, it moves the same as two K nineteen. It really looks very similar to two K nineteen. I knew that we were in for a farce. When uh, they started advertising that, oh, you can see the sweat. I'm like, uh, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that is kind of a... But dang, that's kind of... That's shocking to me. Because 2K it, is your game. It is. I mean, two, I'll still continue to play 2K19. I mean, I got all the best cards. Like, why not? I think Sugar Mama Veronica not being on 2K20 is the issue. I mean, she'll probably be there. But I mean, I've played, I played my team without Sugar Mama Veronica for many years. And, uh-huh. you know, still had a lot of fun. Um, but I don't know. This year, I'm just not... I don't know. No, it's just a demo, Kev. We don't it is know. just a demo. Now, mind yeah. you, when the full game comes out, you know, it might be just super fire. We don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think you should give it some time. I'm probably putting gas on it right now. You are. I think you are putting gas on it. Go ahead and, uh, and and pick it up, but I'm I'm serious. I'm not gonna renew my Xbox Live. Well, see, all right. So it's great. Okay, so hold on. Let's dive into that a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Mine runs out until 2020. Okay, because I just got a I got a free uh, year out of them um, for uh, Xbox Experience, Experience Zone, whatever that's called. Mm-hmm. Um, I literally don't play my Xbox. And I know. And I know, yeah, you know I don't play. Yeah, you know I don't play. <laughs> You're never it. online. No, ever. It's like I don't use it, and the only reason why I have it hooked up to my home entertainment system right now because it has a 4K Blu-ray player. Mm-hmm. And I want to start buying physical 4K discs. I want to actually buy them, the ones I want to watch or whatever. Yeah. I find them on sale because I know 4K Blu-ray discs are on sale a lot when they, after a movie yeah, comes out. Absolutely. Like I think Avengers was like 17 bucks. I'm like, I'll give you 17. Piracy has gotten immaculate. They oh, had to do something to combat it. You they know had what I'm to. Bro, they had to. I mean, the Plex server, we do buy all the discs. Yeah. Plex server is immaculate. Like, everything that comes, is yeah, going on you know there. I mean? But I, I do like the 4K content. Plus, using all that bandwidth over my network. I could do it, but I'd rather just limit it down. Um, but no, my Xbox literally is not getting ran at all. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why renew it? And that, that was my thing with the PlayStation was like, why renew it? Yeah. Even though um, I am going to start Spider-Man um, playing that. But um, Xbox is really, it's like it's nothing to play on the stupid there's thing. There's nothing to do, man. Nah. There's, there's nothing to do. But yeah, I, I just decided, I'm like, you know what? I'm not shelling out 50, 60 bucks mm-hmm. for a new gold membership just to be playing these same games I've been playing. Like, I'll just put it down for a while, man. Find something else to do. Yeah. Now, yeah. I did get a free um, year of uh, the Xbox Ultimate. So I just I, I rolled that into my oh that's Game Pass a Game Pass Ultimate it comes with the PC games and the Xbox games and you get uh, Xbox Live but because I have Xbox Live renewed to 2020 mm-hmm. um like July of 2020 you could just roll it into it for like two bu- two dollars okay. so I did it so I wanted to do because I've been toying around the idea of building a new PC 
Don't know if I even want to do that yet. Bro, you and you and your projects, man. Yeah. You, you know already know it's how just, I am, it's, just a, it's just a project. Like, That's building the PC is, yeah. you know what I'm saying, the goal here. Once you well, get it built, well, you're going to play it for like a week and be like, all right. Okay, but you already know I'm going to rationalize it. And, yeah. a, and a rational, ra- rationalization of doing it is because I do need another computer because the boys are doing homework. Uh, the wife's going back to school. And Khalees is actually, now, she does a lot of homework. First grade, first of all, the leap from kindergarten to first grade, I didn't, know, I didn't know it was that big. Okay. I mean, literally, she has homework. She has stuff she can do online. And... Uh, hmm. Shout out to the Westerville School District because the way that they do their curriculum where you can actually, your kid can get online and learn and practice their reading, practice mm-hmm. their math, mm-hmm. kudos, man. That is actually very dope. Yeah, well, kindergarten, cool. I guess they could have done it too, but they didn't give them the Da Vinci Code to do it. I it mean, was, it's supposed to only there half day. Like, it's right. Only so much is kindergarten really school? I think it's like, uh, it's just preparing you for school. It, yeah, but see, you know, my wife, she... Khalees was ready. She was ready for first grade in but kindergarten. That's the thing. I don't. I don't really think it's about the education portion. I think it's about having them used to. You know, what I'm saying going to a more kind of structured place without your mom and dad there. Yeah, yeah. And you know what I'm saying. It's it's not just about playing. Like mm-hmm. you know, like daycare would be like if you send your kids to a regular like daycare or whatever. Yeah. It's not just you know oh, you're hanging out. You're playing. It's more organized. They're getting them used to the idea that yeah. you know you're gonna have to be here. By yourself, learn yeah. to be independent and, you know, kind well, then, of do things. You know what they need to do is quit doing a half day. I, I felt like she was going to half a day kindergarten. It was just a waste of time. Well, they couldn't, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to shock the system. Well, the first grade's know? a shock, too. Uh, but, I mean, she already knew kind of the routine or whatever. Like, kind she's of. used to getting the backpack. Man. And, you know what I'm saying? She knew, like, school. You know what I mean? Man, knew she, having weekends. And she came home that first day. was overwhelmed. Word. She was like, Dad. Like, it was a lot. <laughs> and she has a, um, her teacher's older. She's an older um, West Indian lady. Okay. She plays zero games. Word. We went, we went to the parent uh, teacher cur- uh, curriculum night, and mm. she, like, barked at us. Okay. Like, she got us in order. You know, like, <laughs> she just plays no game. I love it, you know. Um, but no, no, we finish it off. Xbox. <laughs> I, don't, no, I, don't, on, I got a question about go this. Ahead, go ahead. I, I got to know. Like, go how do they do lunch now for the kids? Like, because first, like, lunch. As far as, like, being in school, man, that is where you really kind of establish your social self. Like, you do a little bit in class. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? We got to that lunch table. Like, that's a good question, that, That's when personality comes through. Like, um, and she spoke to you about, you know what I'm saying, what lunch period is like Now, what she told me was that she had, she said, Dad, they had a countdown at lunch. Uh-huh. I said, what do you mean a countdown? She says, well, they were doing, a, uh, basically counting down from 100, mm-hmm. and you had to finish your lunch within that time. So, basically, I figured it out. Lunch was pretty much over. They had talked so much uh-huh. that they put in a countdown, like, yo, you got to be done when we get down to zero, uh-huh. and then you have to get up and go, because you get a, a lot of time for lunch. Yeah. My daughter's, my baby's a social butterfly, bro. Okay. She's in there talking to They don't go to, outside for recess? They do. Okay. They yeah, do yeah, go yeah. outside, but the one day that, that it rained, mm-hmm. they gave them a longer lunch, so they kept them in the lunchroom a little yeah, longer, yeah, yeah. and they were talking, so she said, yeah, they recess. gave us a countdown. Hmm. Yeah, so, and, and she, man, I like tried to pack. She shoved my baby to sleep. I mean, she put <laughs> so much food in there the first she day. Sure she was cool. Man. Nah, man, you gonna put my baby to sleep? She She's going all day, man. That's her baby. It doesn't matter. Yeah. She's gonna be the second half of school is gonna be very tired. Have you seen Jordan in the flu game? We just, you know, uh, <laughs> I had to pack her lunch the rest of the week. Like, quit putting all this daggone food in here, man. Yeah. And even then, she didn't finish it all. Um, but no, lunch has been a. Uh, you're right. It's a social time. And, you know, the little girls and are a little different than little boys. Little boys go to school, and it's more so who you play with, who you, yeah. you know, go outside. I mean, recess is something different for boys. Exactly. You know boys I mean? are going out there and get a full sweat. You right. know what I'm saying? I mean, but in a way that that's kind of how, like, the boys kind of figure out their social oh, hierarchy. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, bro, if you can't play kickball, bro, oh. you're... Like, don't come around here, nah, man. You, you, know or you, play, you had your football guys. You had your, your kickball guys. You had the tetherball kids. Dude. Yeah, tetherball guys. Tetherball dudes are kind of weird, usually. Yeah. Because um, whoever rocked the, the tetherball, they was like, oh, you know. They don't let the kids play football no more, I'm sure. You don't think so? No, man. Like, I remember we used to play football on recess, bro. And, like, but I'm, that's, like, where you caught your stripes. Like, if you were yeah. nice yeah. at any one of those things, it's like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah You know yeah. what I'm saying? You, 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 For yeah. sure, yeah. That's how it, it translated. That's how I won uh, Best Athletic and stuff like that was because I was just, I didn't like football. I just was good at it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're, I mean, that that's where you really earn your stripes. So, I'm interested to know how that goes throughout the year. Well, you know, you know what? what I mean, you know she loves her, bro, Kevin. Maybe yeah. you can talk to her about it. She's up in the room uh, this, today watching a documentary on bats. Okay. Um. And then it was a documentary on tornadoes, and then she tried mm-hmm. to talk to me about who, which one is worse, a tornado or a uh, or a um, or a hurricane. Mm-hmm. And I tried to kind of explain it to her a little bit, but then the YouTube gets YouTube is a dirty place too because it goes <laughs> into a different, like just a different rabbit hole. Mm-hmm. And then it was like it started doing it. Um, she said, "Dad, do you know there's two suns in the solar system? Like, what are you talking about?" She showed me the video. Mm-hmm. It was basically talking about the sun, then ventured off into how. 
um, in Star Wars how Tatooine had two sons, and it kind of went into that. It was kind of making an analogy, mm-hmm. but it was a bad analogy. Okay. So it confused her. <laughs> yeah. You know, it confused it confused my baby. But um, yeah, man, it's... I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you an article. I was hoping I could find a video. I, uh-huh. I saw something about uh, there was a they finally caught. Uh, you know, they saw, they observed uh, a black hole that destroyed a star. Oh, wow. Uh, and it created a ripple in space. So I, I'll have to send it to you. I'm, oh, yeah. I, she, when I read that, I was like, oh, man, she'd be interested in Oh, that she'd show. be on that forever. Yeah. I'll tell you what the documentary was we watched. It was a documentary on Nor- Norwals. You okay. know what a Norwal is? Uh-uh. Okay, it's a whale with a horn. Hmm. It looks like a unicorn because she had a, a shirt on and it was it looked like a unicorn. Well, that's not a unicorn. Oh, that's a whale. Mm-hmm. So then Uncle Johnny comes involved and he's like, "Well, that's a <laughs> fake whale." Like, no, that's that's, that's a real, real whale. whale. Sorry, like, just real whales that have horns. And he he kind of <laughs> didn't remember, so <laughs> it was funny. So I showed him the video. We it, it branched off. It was a learning <laughs> session for everybody that day. Uh, um, no, so, <laughs> I, was just, I was just thinking the fact how he busts into a room like, "Man, that's a fake whale." <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know, man. He didn't know. I got a funny story to tell you about him after the pod. I can't tell him about the pod. Um, but yeah, so it, it mentioned off into a, a funny conversation about Norwalk. And I haven't looked up a Norwalk since I was little. <laughs> Pull it together, bro. Pull it together. <laughs> I'm listening, bro. I'm listening so I was to Norwalk. So, so it was just a funny conversation. But Xbox, okay? Xbox. That's a fake whale. <laughs> bro, that's the name, of this, that's name of this episode. <laughs> that's a fake whale? That's a fake hey, whale. Hey, man, he was dead serious. Like, I, I did like, no, that's actually a real whale. <laughs> so so uh, it was a learning session for all of us, man. Uh, Shout out to Uncle Johnny, man. Um, but um, but anyways, Xbox. I don't think I'm renewing yeah. mine either. Okay. Um, you're not buying 2K20. That's funny to me that you're saying that you're going to buy. Now, it. I mean, yeah, I'm yeah. probably. But hold on, my, my bone to pick with you about 2K20. Okay. So you always buy the collector's edition. I do. That's that's okay. No, it's not no, about it the coin. No, it is. No, it's it not is. About the it coin. is, Kev, because it's not okay. Your thing. You've always told me you're not going to catch the net, Kev. Quit trying to catch. I don't want it, man. It's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> He's trying to catch you like five times. He's not going to get caught. I'm trying to do it on Clearly. the sneak. And you try to do it with the left hand or right, you're not going to catch him, bro. You're going to go the clapping thing, and that's not going to be good on the mic. So stop, all right? Um, you pay for fake money up front. You do, Ken. That's I mean, pay, that's it's, a part pack. Of, it's a part of it. It's a part of it, okay. yeah. But but I am getting the pack up front, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're buying it's, it's it, not, though. It's not about the coin, though. It's about the pack. And technically, the way that it breaks down, it's actually... You know what I'm saying? Better. And I get the two free cards at the beginning to start the game. It's all about starting the game dominant. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The way you start the game, that's going to be how you finish. But you're paying for fake. You're using real money for fake money, though. I'm not because I you bought are. the game. I bought the game. But you're buying I, the extra stuff, too. No, I, I bought the legend. The extra stuff is extra. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Kevin Flip. This is the Kevin Flip. This is all this is, bro. This goes against everything you say. <laughs> everything you said before. This is the Kevin Flip. You, you spent real money for fake money. Hey, man, listen, <laughs> allow me my guilty pleasure, sir. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I, I, listen, I've never had anything to say about it. I've never heard, but you've always, no, dude, I'm not paying real money for fake money. But yeah. you do. You I mean, do. in that one instance, but I don't yeah. I don't really think about the coin part. Of okay. it, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's more about building my team up strong uh-huh. from the beginning. And, you know, the year I started was the year that the Michael Jordan edition came out. And this is where it gets really nasty. And, and this is another <laughs> reason why I'm probably not going to buy it. Well, I'm saying that now. But if you bought the collector's edition, you got to play four days early. And a lot of times that would also be why I would buy it. Because like ah. I said, how you start the game is how you finish. So can so, you do that this year? No. It, it drops all on the same day no really? matter what. Yeah. So it's huh. like there's really not a whole lot of incentive um, to, you know what I'm saying, get going early or to, to really shell out the cash for it. But uh, Okay. Yeah, man, it's not about the coin. We'll talk about this in the so next pod. I still you, stand on my principle. Whatever. I'm not buying it, bro. And I, I've been waiting to talk to you about that. When I text you, I said, "Oh, I saw, yeah, I, I, saw, I saw, I saw your eyes light up through the text." I'm like, "Yeah, I got, ha, got him here." Yes, he's he's paying real money for fake money. I got him. That was just part of it, man. I paid for the legend. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. You know I mean, saying? The, the coin. Uh, yeah, that was just there. the only way you got away with that, that was, was, the, was the yeah, okay. <laughs> was, the, was the uh was the Jordan edition one where you got like, okay, that makes sense to buy it because everybody wanted that Jordan cover. Yeah. Um, but no, other ones, call them shenanigans. Call them shenanigans. Nah, because I, I skipped the Shaq one. I was like, nobody wants garbage Shaq no. uh, at the beginning of the game anyway. I'll get the Kyrie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, the rest of them, man, I'll I be, I be buying the, uh, the the Legend Edition. Do you see the videos of, Car- of Kyrie in open runs lately? I haven't. Boys looks good. Yeah? Had them Kyrie sixes on, too. Mm-hmm. They took a height. Okay. I don't know if I'm copping, though. Yeah. I don't know yet. All right, man, what do I have been playing? Destiny. I'm back on Destiny, bro. The cross yeah. save went live. Destiny 2, the cross save went live. So all my progress from the Xbox version is now on my PC. Um, 
all the stuff that I got on the PC before just went away. I just went away with that. So all that time okay. I played on the PC before. I'm not gonna judge you because I bought 2K. For yeah, the yeah, Switch, exactly. So, yeah, well, you, can't. you can't. You can't. I, when I, I, I point, no, no. When I pointed that out a couple couple uh, podcasts ago, you were like forgiven. Yeah. You, okay, you can't take back. No get, no take back. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been playing that. Um, just kind of, it, it feels good to have all my stuff that I had on Xbox, which is pretty much everything. Mm-hmm. Um, on the on the PC, so I've been playing that. I'm up in the loft. I got the got the. Uh, the thing. So the crosshair is actually pretty cool, man. You uh, you basically just choose which uh, account you want to bring over. Mm-hmm. And so when you play on PC or you play on PlayStation or you play on uh, Xbox, it's all there. Now, um, uh, wait, because I, I go got to ask. Go okay, ahead. Go ahead. Now, if you stop playing Destiny on the Xbox, what's different about playing it on PC that it's going to make you want to continue? Here we go. Because, I mean, technically, like, the only go. thing that happened was your progress transferred over from the console that you weren't playing anyway. Well, the thing is, I had so much invested on the Xbox yeah. that... But you weren't playing it anymore. No. Let's pick up where I left off. That's pretty much what I did. I'm but, picking... but you didn't like playing it anymore. That's what I'm saying. Like, well, So now that it's on PC, like, like what do you okay, want to Okay, here play? we go. This is, this is the reason why. Once okay. again, I'm a, but you don't believe this, okay? Mm-hmm. 60 frames per second oh, in 4K go. right. gaming right. is immaccolate, Kev. I know. Okay, it's literally like you keep you. I just don't believe that if you can't see. The game is not it. fun. It's not fun at sixty frames per second. No, no it was fun. It, it wasn't got, fun. If it was fun, you'd be playing. No, it was fun. It was fun on the Xbox. I just found my raid group was gone, so I couldn't do a lot of stuff. They what on ha- PC now. Some of them are. Some of them are. But the fact that I could play it by my there's so much more to do now too. Uh huh. On on the uh, on that the game. That wasn't on Xbox. Well, on the game itself, that hiatus I was on, it was a lot of stuff that accumulated. Okay. See, the thing about Destiny, which I I like, is that the content's not going anywhere. So mm-hmm. they're coming out with new updates, new guns, new stuff like that, new exotic quests. It's not going anywhere. It's just kind of just like backlogging. Mm-hmm. Like a, like think of it like a whole bunch of video games that came out you didn't play them. They're yeah. not going anywhere. You can still play them. Yeah, that's true. Um, so that's the thing about it. And now playing them in 4K, 60 frames, excuse me, per second. It's a big difference, bro. Okay, well, it's a big I, difference. Listen, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, man. yeah, I'm not, I'm not moved. But yeah, yeah, that and also the uh, uh, Mario uh, Super Splash, or whatever it's called for the uh, Wii U that had for Simu the emulator in mm-hmm. 4K. I'm playing that too. Beautiful game. Okay, been playing that. Um, so yeah, man, just been playing those two games. Yeah, I think next week I'm going to come back, man. I'm going to have no games played, bro. Really? Yeah, I'm very sad. You got about 2K it. played. Well, no, because if I don't have Xbox Live, I don't even know that I can see Sugar Mom and Veronica. And if I can't see Sugar Mom and Veronica or play my team, like, what's the point? You're going to renew. You're going to find a No, I, no, I'm serious well, uh, about first that. Of all, I'm not fo- going to renew. Our phones are listening to us. The internet's listening to us. By the time this podcast gets uploaded, they'll be slanging the there deal. will be a deal coming to you for like 30 bucks here. Uh, listen, y'all want to give it to me for free. I'll renew, but for free? Uh, yeah, for free. I'll renew. I mean, you you got it for free. Don't don't you know, don't Kendrick Lamar no, me over I here. No, I did. I did. If I come across another code, if I get one again, I'll, I'll send it your way. No, no, no. I, I, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take that. I, yeah, I was, I, I'm not going to decline that. Yeah. But <laughs> outside of that, man, I don't think I'm going to renew, man. I think really? I'm just let it ride for a little while. At least until some uh, some games I want to play come out. You got to play something. No, I really don't. You don't. Mm-hmm. So I mean, so I'll fill you... that time with something else. Hmm. I wonder what. Hey man, watch some remains movies? to be seen. Nah, well maybe I've been watching. I've been watching movies more. Actually, I've been watching TV shows more. Really? Yeah, man. What like Snowfall watching? is amazing. This I season. need to watch it. Yeah, I need to watch that. Snowfall has been amazing. Uh-huh. Uh, and then I always go back and rewatch my classics. Breaking Bad. I actually started rewatching The Wire again. Was well, Breaking Bad a classic? <laughs> Sorry, are you are you asking? I'm asking. You don't know. It, no, it was Breaking Bad is a classic. Yeah, man. Okay, so what where do you rank it classic wise? Was it better than The Wire? It wasn't better than the Wire. Okay, was it better than Sopranos? You never seen. I never seen Sopranos. See, you, I don't. I don't under because like you, you don't watch a lot of TV. Doesn't it doesn't speak to me? Okay, okay. <laughs> see, you don't watch a lot of TV. <laughs> so you saying that this it's a classic? Mm-hmm. I, what are you basing it on? Oh, what are you the shows that I've seen, but I, I've seen I've seen all the classics, bro. So I mean, The Wire, Breaking Bad, uh, Game of Thrones. I've, yeah. I've seen all the big shows. And uh, you, another one that you should watch, man, Chernobyl. Chernobyl is so good. Yeah, I'm going to be depressed, though. Uh, it's going it's to be depressing when I watch it. I already know it. I mean, it already happened. I know. It's but it, it's good to know what happened. Like, I do want to know what happened. story of what happened. Know, um, I, a lot of rappers used to use that in their lyrics. I never knew what it was. Man, I thought it was a cool word, Chernobyl. Did you ever watch True Detective? Yes. I okay. didn't finish it. I didn't finish it. No, I'm sorry. I didn't finish that one. Uh, I need to watch that. That was another really good one. But, but that's what I'm saying. I, like, I watch all the... All the stuff that gets a lot of uh, praise or whatever, I always make sure that I that I tune in. So yeah. I, I watch a lot of that stuff. I don't really watch a lot of movies. I be, I be checking the Plex server and I see that there's a lot of stuff on there that I want to watch, but mm-hmm. I never really get around to it. Plus, it's hard to be like, yo, I'm going to sit down for an hour and a half and do nothing else but focus on this. You know what I'm saying? Well, TV show, I can kind of jump in and out, especially if I've already seen it. You know? Yeah, yeah. 
Well, I mean, Snowfall you haven't seen, so your your kind of your attention is there. Yeah, you're getting to know more. Um, but I gotta know. You know what I mean? What's yeah, going on with my my dog Franklin. Franklin. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. My dog Franklin. He out here. What, getting what it done. time? What time period did that show take place in? The eighties. Even 80s. though. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, man. They they be throwing in uh they be throwing in a lot of uh more current uh lingo in there, thinking nobody gonna catch. I'm like, bro, I, I caught that. Really? Man, man said, uh, I don't know if I can, re- I don't, yeah, I don't know if I can repeat <laughs> that. It, it was uh, it had to do with uh, not really Takashi Six Nine, but you get the joke. You get the joke. Okay, yeah, you get the gist. Okay, yeah. So I mean, he threw that in. I'm like, were they really saying this back in the '80s? With with I don't even, like things wasn't going down like this in the '80s. I mean, I'm sure they were, but they mm-hmm. weren't. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I don't. Um, I, I want to get into that show. I really want to watch it. And the thing is, I'm trying to find because like a lot of shows, I'm trying to find on Netflix what we're watching, and it's a show on there that we were watching about a family that's hilarious, and it's it's, it's a family full of dirtbags. I can't think of the name of it. Uh, um, can't be that good. Can't even remember the name of the show. That's crazy. I can't remember. It's one word. I can't remember the name of it. But anyways, we have been. We'll just we'll find a show. We'll watch it, and you know something that the wife likes, and she's studying for class right now, so mm-hmm. it's something we could put on in the background, and let it play. Um, it's always a good watch, you okay. know. Something I always do. I need to watch um, what's the name of it? John Wick Two, because I okay. want to watch John Wick Three. I keep hearing about John Wick Three being a, a pure classic, and I just haven't seen John Wick Two. It's good, uh, classic. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're milking it. You know what I'm saying? Really? You're stretching it at classic, but it's good. It was it was entertaining. If you really? like a good shoot 'em up, you know what I mean? Then it, it's it's entertaining. But I, you don't you don't well is, does that fall in the realm of sci-fi? No. I wouldn't say so. Well, not sci-fi because it, I don't think it runs into. It's not a true. It's action. It's action. It's yeah. Action. Do you like action movies? Yeah, I like action movies. I mean, well enough. But I, more than anything, bro, I love I love a well-told story. Shameless is the name of the show. Shameless. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've heard of that. I haven't. I haven't watched it. Very funny show. Okay. Very funny show. We've been watching that one. But no, I, I didn't. I didn't know if you really liked action. Yeah, I, I like action films, but I, I'm more of a thriller guy. Okay. Yeah, I'm more of a thriller guy. I, yeah. I love a, a good story. A story. A very immersive. You've story. seen all the classic thrillers, though, right? Uh, I mean, for the most part, I would say so. Okay, like crime. Do you like crime movies? Uh, to an extent, yes. Okay, I know you've seen Usual Suspects. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So you've seen all the, the big ones. Yeah. Donnie Brasco. Yep. Okay. All that stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'll go back and watch them all the time. Okay. Those are good movies. All right, let's get into it, man. Let's see Death Stranding. All right, so Death Stranding mm. footage came out. Five minute gameplay video was released. Tons of celebrity cameos are going to be in the game. They announced lots of game info released. Mm. Full Gamescon showcase. Thoughts? What do yeah, you think, buddy. bro? I think that uh, I'll renew my Xbox Live for that, but mm-hmm. it's going to be PlayStation exclusive, baby. Yeah. Another <laughs> kick to the chest for Xbox. Oh, boy. That's why I can't let that PS Plus lapse for nothing. Got to let that ride, baby. You know Plus what I'm saying? Funny. Is it thirty nine ninety nine now for that? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll tell you what, though. What my that? Death Stranding fund, I think I'm at about uh, two seventy three okay. uh, eighty four. Okay. And uh, and rising, bro. And rising. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm so saying? what do you think about the trust. video though that came? Did you watch it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you I think about all the cameos you. are going to be? Yeah, you did. What, what do you think about the cameos are going to be in the game? Um, I didn't really pay attention to the cameos, but uh, <laughs> for me, like the game, I, I love the intricacy of the game. Yeah. Like uh, all the little details. I don't know why he got up and and you know what I'm saying relieved himself when he woke up, but yeah, I was man. like, yeah, that's cool detail. I mean, that yeah. was that was an actual item. But you see how you can you can you can uh, pee on the ground and create resources for yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, the and baby, how he always kept his back to the camera. He always kept, that was yeah, funny. That was kind of dope. <laughs> Um, the baby, when you run too fast and you shake the baby, start you start crying. You, you gotta soothe them. You gotta soothe them. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's gonna be creepy or not, bro. He, I'm saying the detail in that game lets me know that it's about to be fire. Oh man, yeah. The baby look like I'm. I'm emotionally shook. Like, about the baby, yeah, because it looks too cute. You know, like huh? I don't want. It to I mean, get, the baby is fine. It's, yeah, but I don't want that to happen to him. I mean, the baby is protected in it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and he's in a bucket, a, a, a bucket of water too. Yeah. He's yeah, smiling like, at you, giving you the thumbs up, sucking on his thumb. I don't like, I don't know, man. Hey, man. That's kind of like on, Far, on Fallout. It might be why I start stop watching Fall, playing Fallout when the dog, because I didn't want the dog to die. Hey, man, listen, you know? stuff got to happen. I meant to send you a clip uh, the other day of me playing Grand Theft Auto just to show you like how just funny that game was. Mm. Uh, there was a point in the game where I was I was exploring the sea. And uh, I killed a shark, and I hopped out of my submarine, and I punched it in the mouth. <laughs> Why did I do this? Because you could. Because I could. Exactly. <laughs> you know, because so you I'm could. Under, I literally, I was underwater, man, just ran up and really? popped, popped shark right in the mouth. Sharks are weak, because like the, 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 the shark homie should have came and bit you. Nah, I, I was in the submarine when I killed him. Really? But yeah, once he died, once I seen him, he was falling, have I'm you, like, oh, yeah. Have you been watching like, the drone footage of these sharks? These sharks are fed up. Something's up with sharks. Like They bound together to take cats out. Like, I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't know, man. Sharks what they got are going on. Sharks are fed up. I don't go in the ocean anyway. You mm-hmm. already know that. Why See, not? What? Hey, man, listen. The ocean's a scary place, bro. You be all right. No, I won't. It's part of the earth, man. It's just my you luck, man. You're part of the earth. Earth, my turf. Black bro. people don't have that much luck. Yeah, no, listen. Earth, my turf, man. I'm out there. But is the ocean the earth? Yes. It's uh, part. We all different. we all on the planet together, bro. So this my turf. Now, they're, like, if a shark gets out on land and wants to, you know, bump knuckles, then cool. In the ocean, wherever, man. Nah, in the sky, cool. in space, whatever you want to do. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm cool. It's not gonna happen, bro. <laughs> they win. They win ten out of ten times. <laughs> so Death Stranding, your your fund is up to about three hundred bucks. Huh? Yeah, man. You ain't copping yet. Nah, you don't need my type of game. It looks too. What? It looks scary. How are you gonna, bro? Don't allow yourself to miss out on another classic, man. That's all I'm gonna say. Here's my thing, like, though, man. I'll, I'll come live vicariously through you. I'll come watch you play. No, man. Get out there, man. Experience it for yourself, man. Don't don't twitch it. Like it's not the same watching somebody else play as it is when you got the controller. I ain't gonna lie. I was playing Grand Theft Auto when I was when I was uh, exploring the the waters. It was a little scary. I was like, man, it's going down out here. <laughs> like, wow, why did they build this up so much, man? There's there's orcas and everything. You know, what really? I'm saying? swimming around down there. Yeah. How'd you get a submarine? Still on the dock, yeah. Really? Same way I got everything. Just get out there and go? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'd like to see that for a leaf. Okay, I, I got you. Like. Yeah, I want to see what that looks like. Um, but Death Stranding, I will say, though, it looks amazing. Word. Like, Kojima's all in. They brought him out of Gamescom. His boy, Keeley and him were like best buds, man. Yeah. And Keeley's in the game. Yeah. Um, Gotta be. It's a lot of, like, cameos are going to be in the game, which I thought was pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Um, but, PDL's mine, man. Huh? Do what you want when you pop it, man. Oh, for PDL's sure. PDL's mine. Do what for you sure. want. For sure, and the fact it's only on on that on uh, PlayStation, I don't I don't like that. Death Blow, <sighs> whatever. That's what they ought to name the game. Death Blow to De- Xbox. Death Blow, yeah, it should, bro. That's pretty <laughs> much what it is. We're right. straight to the chest. <laughs> All right, man. Gear uh, Gears Five. Lots of news came back from Gamescom on that too. Uh, they're bringing back Horde mode. You excited about that? Uh, oh man, I guess I, that's another game I I forgot to mention. Like, Gears 4. I've been playing uh, Gears Four a yeah. little bit. It was fun. It was fun. I'd I'd uh, I'd cop for games with gold. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because I have, I did, like I told you, signed up for the uh, the uh, Xbox Ultimate Pass, whatever, I get to play Gears 5 early. Okay. Uh, so you, when When is early? Because it comes out in a couple weeks, doesn't it? Five days early. Okay. So I, I might have a game beat by then. <laughs> um, for sure. Like, But, you know, for I look at it like, shoot, I played Gears 5 for two bucks. Yeah, there you go. You know what I mean? So I look forward to playing it, actually. Um, I don't know what in the world's going on. I know the end of Gears 4. That's the thing. I do want to play Gears 4 now, too. Mm. Just because I don't know what the heck happened at the end. You know, and I don't know what's going on. That's now. you know, and that's my that's my thing with 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 Xbox shooters, Halo mm-hmm. and Gears. They're like they're good, beautiful games, right? Mm-hmm. There's a lot going on, but you don't know what the heck the story is about when you're done. Yeah, why doesn't Master Chief talk? I don't know. He, I don't, he okay. never said a word, has he? I do know he does talk. He does talk. Master, yeah, Master Chief talks. You just don't see his face. Yeah, that's what it was. You don't see his face. He does talk. You just don't see his face. I'm, um, I, well, again, I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, because I've you're shooting everything. Yeah. You're shooting everything, and like. That's what I came for. Yeah, I, I just I wish the story was integrated a little better. Because like, there's a lot of action going on in Uncharted, but the story was amazing. You remember yeah, the story? It's a good story. Yeah. So I don't know why that disconnect happens between Xbox um, games. You know, I don't know why that happens. I really don't you know. You know, Xbox makes their games a little bit more kind of cartoony. I mean, um, the the uh, game you just mentioned. Uh, Halo? Not Halo, man. The Gears? PlayStation game. Oh, oh, Uncharted. Uncharted, yes. Uh-huh. Uncharted, it was a little cartoony too, but I mean, it was like... An Indiana Jones type adventure kind of game or whatever, but uh-huh. like Halo and like I don't know, man. It's it's not cartoony, but it's like wonky. It's yeah. it's a little bit silly. Gears like everybody's like over like exaggerated. You know what I'm saying? Like broad shoulders, just looking like toy soldiers. I figured it out. The problem is with Xbox, um, they don't have the actors that PlayStation gets. That's true. Like, what is the guy's name? Was it Nolan Richardson or Nolan Norris or Nolan something? I can't forget his name. But one of the bigger actor guys that were. Um, he was actually on Destiny too. Uh, he was he was a, the voice of uh, K six, the character that passed away. Mm-hmm. I can't think of his name, so put in the comments if you remember. Anyways, PlayStation hires like full fledged actors to they play do. their their um, their roles on their games, and I think that's what's lacking on PlayStation on uh, Xbox. I think that PlayStation just uh, they they appreciate depth. You know what I'm saying yeah. of their story. Yeah, yeah. Where, yeah. where Xbox they kind of they let that kind of go by the wayside a bit. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, they they make fun shooters. I mean, Halo for what it is, it's a fun shooter. Gears was a fun shooter. Yeah. It was good to waste a couple of a uh, couple of minutes. You but know. But we don't I mean? remember any of the story. So what nah. happens with that story is becomes forgettable. So the game becomes forgettable. Because you know what, Death Stranding when that drops, bruh, you already know I'm it's gonna, gonna be, be layered. Locked in, but that you already know it's gonna, gonna be laid out. Exactly, you already know it's gonna be layered. You know the name Kojima. You know it's gonna be layered with yeah. stuff in there. Yeah, I'll be over to watch, man. <laughs> I'll be over to watch. All right, man. Uh, let's see. Possible dev kit 
was uh, designed for the PS5 has leaked. They, people were saying that it might be the actual console. It had a jet engine. <laughs> 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 that that kind of powerful. Yeah, that Nat trying to get me too. I'm um, telling you, bro. I'm a, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We okay. It's slow death for that. <laughs> so it's over. It's going down. Yeah. Um. What'd you think about it though? Uh. Hey man, another win, another notch under the belt. I'm glad to see Sony wasn't taking no days off. Whatever. Yeah. That thing looked ugly, and the, the pictures <laughs> well, look ugly. We know the retail version isn't going to look like. But that, people were really cl- uh, lam- clamoring over it, like it actually is the system. Like, plus I don't care how systems look, man. Yeah, y'all know. I, I like. Listen, nobody cares. I don't care. Play. Either. I want to play. Turn, yeah. turn the button on. Boop. Yeah. Yeah. Four K get, get gaming. Yeah. Just don't make it thousand dollars because I can't. I don't want that. I pay it. I know you are. Yeah, I, I don't want. It. I don't want to though. Pay the cost. You know what I'm saying? When PlayStation involved, baby. Now, I will say, though, both systems are over, like, 600 bucks. I'm picking one. I'm not buying <laughs> hey, Rod, you ain't even picked the winning side. I am. Yeah. And I already know what it's going to be. Yeah. The game, the one that's got all the games on it. Because all the games I want to play is going to be on uh, PlayStation anyway. So, yeah. you know, I might as well go with that one. Which is another thing, too. The reason why I might not get the new Xbox is because the games I want to play is, like, Destiny and st- all the big-name titles are coming on Stadia. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm going to get a Stadia. Put yeah, that I, I mean, if you end up uh, building out a new PC, then it's like, exactly. yeah, you're good anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, all right, man. Whatever. All right, man. That's it. Gaming news. Anything hey, else going on? Nah, uh, Gamescom well. happened. That was a great thing. Um, you mean, don't you ever got, know about these yeah, comms man. and you know updates and everything. Like, just release the games, man. Yeah. Listen, that that's what I'm waiting on. Yeah. Okay. I'm waiting on some games. That's why Xbox, you're not getting any money right now. Until y'all show me something that's worth playing, mm-hmm. you get no dough. Yeah. I almost, I, mean, I almost picked up Madden, bro. It's been that bad. Really? I, I need something new to play. <laughs> Well, you got mad. You get it for PlayStation. Uh, yeah. I, well, I, I guess at this point, you will because you. Mad, I know, but, but if you were to get it, you yeah, get it I'd end up getting it for PlayStation. Yeah. I mean, the games with gold. I will say have, they've been holding me down, but it's like it's like a sad time when it's like, man, I, I really like I'm playing Forza. Yeah, I'm playing I, yeah, Forza yeah, yeah. Five or something, or Forza Six or something like that. I'm like, although a fire racing game is pretty cool for like a good couple weeks out the out the year. Yeah, I mean, it, it was it was fun enough. I, I built my car on, really? on there, and I've been racing that around. And like after the novelty wore off of that, I was like, yeah, all right, that's it. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you on that. I'm, I'm like that. You already know how I am. Mm-hmm. I get to something. I'm like, yeah, it looks sweet. The idea of it. Then once you do it, it's like. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, driving games they get pretty old pretty fast anyway. Yeah. It's like, oh, I right, pass the car, oh, they pass me. Oh, okay, the race is <laughs> over. <laughs> At least it's not like NASCAR where you're turning though. Like NASCAR, just busting a bunch of lefts. I mean, they got those NASCAR uh, tracks on there, but this is a circle. Yeah, exactly. That's not fun. I mean, they're, they're a thing. Like, no, it no, gets no. competitive, but I like. I bet no. it does. But bust a bust a right here and there. That's what I'm saying. Like, man, after you do three laps of that, you're like, all right, right turn exactly. this off. Right, that's it. I'm powered now. Like, yeah, yeah, home yeah. screen. Right. You know what else we gonna do? I did that. Fire up Hulu. Right. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, man. Racing games are like you got to get the, the wheel and everything. But even then, it's like I spent all this money on this. I'm a loser. I'm, right. I'm, 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 I'm gonna race three races. <laughs> right. and be like. That was fun. <laughs> put, put I'll go get in my put, car and actually do this. Again. Right. Put put the uh, steering wheel on eBay and we're out of here. <laughs> All right, man. Zeke Elliott. Mm. He's offended by Jerry Jones pretending not to know who he is. Yeah. Headed to Cabo to continue training with his holdout. Yeah. Listen, um, Sad. nobody loves this more than myself being an Eagles fan. Mm. But even I was a little bit like, come on, Jerry. You got to. I think he's trying to do it with tongue in cheek, trying to be funny. Uh, yeah. You know, just kind of with the, with the uh, reporters. So like, who's Zeke? Who? I don't know who you're talking about. Uh-huh. But it came off offending Zeke Elliott. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, I love I love the uh, this day. I just want Zeke just hold out for like three weeks, right? Yeah, man, come on to these Saints, man. Nah, he gonna go nowhere else. Yeah, yeah he, he definitely gonna say I don't want that Saints problem player. at all. Um, but yeah, just just hold out. Let Dak get get hit in the mouth a couple of times. It's like a whole bunch of different stories coming out. You know, you know, I, I've been thinking about this too since NFL preseason is going down or whatever, and you got uh, you got some major holdouts for that team. It's like yo. Y'all preseason is going to be pretty jacked. Oh, yeah. And if y'all can't get it together in preseason, man, the start of your season ain't going to be so good. Right. And if the start of your season ain't going to be so good, man, that's going to shape. Yeah, hey, listen, you, you finish how you started. All right? Yeah. So. Especially with football. Mm-hmm. You go upside here. You see uh, Cam Newton got hurt the other night. I did, man. He sprained his ankle. Yeah. Or something. I don't his know. His foot, they said. What happened to it? Did they say if it was a serious injury yet? They said it was his like foot. They He hobbled off. They say he's done with the preseason. He's got they, a boot. They say he has a boot, and they're saying they're trying to hopefully get him back before week one. Okay. So that shows me that, no, nah, he's not going to be right. Mm. I mean, if anything, he'll come back and be nagging all year yeah. from that. I'd rather him just sit out. A couple weeks. And just come out. Listen, no good's going to come until he gets a proper Caesar. Have you seen Cam Newton's hair? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It, it, he looked, 
I can't even say buckwheat. It look, I don't know what it looks like. It's very bad. I've seen, like, uh, did you see the pictures of Cam Newton in Walmart or whatever? Oh, man, with the scarf over his head? Yeah. yeah come on, man. Like, hey, what is that? Hey, man, listen. Cam got his own style, bro. Have you ever seen him on Instagram? No, I, I watched when they was on <laughs> the... Uh, like, he types in uh, symbols. Yeah, see, come on. Hey man, listen, we have like, corporate connects that we can't lose, so I really would want to dive into this right now because <laughs> I have a feeling on it. But Swag I, overlord. Uh, that's one way of putting it. Yeah, That's one way of putting it. <laughs> um, but Zeke Elliott, happy, can continue your holdout, bro. The, the Cowboys are in a very, very weird spot because they have, they have a very good and bad problem. They have a lot of young talent, which is good, but a lot of bad talent because now you got to pay them all. Mm-hmm. They all came in the same year. They didn't expect Dak to be as good as he's shown, yeah. although I don't think Dak is really still that good, but I'm an Eagles fan. Exactly. You can't. I, I wouldn't pay him forty mil. Right. And that's what he wants. And that's the thing with quarterbacks is it's not really what they're owe. It's what they're due. You yeah. know, they're, it's their turn up. So it's like you know, like right now, you know, the highest paid quarterback in the league is Ooh. Matt Stafford. Matt Stafford. He never won anything. It right. was just his turn. Yeah, it was just he, his he, turn. He, he and was. I up. mean, he was one of those guys. Like, well, you gotta lock him in. He's the yeah. best option you got. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, man. So they gotta you know figure this Zeke situation out. Uh, they know. I mean, he to me, he's the engine that keeps them going. Yeah. You know. So I think. Uh, you know, they definitely got to get, you know, get him back. And then you look at, there was a big injury today with the Texans. Their running back was probably going to be out for the year. Really? He was carted off the field today. It's I just tough. got an alert before we started recording. So, right. if I'm Zeke, I'm back looking at all this like, yo, I got to get paid, bro. Absolutely, man. Listen, I got I to get, get paid. Your money. Absolutely. So, hopefully they don't pay, then the Cowboys suck. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so then also with the Cowboys, they have they still have not reached out to um, to a deal with Dak Prescott or Amari Cooper. Yeah. And so that's the thing about it is different reports that are coming out saying one one I read said that they did reach out to Dak and he rejected it mm-hmm. and he he wanted a bigger contract. And then Amari Cooper was just like, cool, I'm chilling. Like yeah. I, Amari Cooper already came out and said it. Like, I mean, y'all get everybody else done. I'm not doing until next year anyway. Right. Let's get it done then. So. But give, give me some talent. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So. What is this, week three of preseason? Yes. Wow. Yeah. So, That's what I'm saying. Like, man, what, they got one more week? Yeah. Yeah. And especially with Zeke being out, you know, he hasn't been getting hit on. Right. Pause. So <laughs> <laughs> so even though that he's sitting out, his body's not being, um, you know, abused or anything like that, he still is not, you know, in football shape. Yeah. So it's going to take him a couple weeks to get into that. But I think with him, he's a he's a bell cow back. Jerry, just open up the paycheck, man. Open up the uh, cash. What is it, checkbook? Checkbook. Yeah. Open up the checkbook, pay the man, uh, give him his money. Do Dak's going to do till next year. Absolutely. Give him his money, you know, and, and keep it moving. If you know this is your only chance, I think what they're going to end up doing is paying Zeke. They're not going to pay Dak. It's my Word. hot take. They're not going to pay him. They're going to just go to war with another rookie quarter, another younger quarterback. Watch. That's that's foolish. I think so, too. But yeah. it's the Cowboys, man. I mean, but y'all ain't won in a long time, and this is the closest y'all got to winning. Like, just pay the man. Give him his, give him his cash. Ooh, what if they bring Romo back? Stop. Yeah. Romo act like he got, he got it all handled. They brought Witten back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Bring the boys back in for one more show. Mm, man, they'll go. Man, Ro, Ro, you remember Romo's last year? His his uh they fixed his his collarbone with dental floss and duct tape, bro. Like it broke like that's literally all he the needed. next <laughs> No, nah, it wasn't all he needed, because he broke like the next play. As soon as it came <laughs> back, it snapped he again. Did, yeah. You know? Yeah. So although I do think that uh Romo's a good announcer though. Yeah, he's he's man, he's excellent. Yeah, Witten was awful. People yeah. like the thing was for like Witten, oh, he's going back to play. No, Witten was trash as a, as an announcer. That's why <laughs> right. he went back. And he had that comb over too. It was a nasty comb over. So yeah. you got the bald boy went back going back to the uh, back to the back to the league. Man. So <laughs> shout out to him. Yeah, whatever. All, all things bad for the Cowboys and, and Deer's book. Um, all right, man. Dwight Howard, he is going to sign with the Lakers. Yeah, man. You okay with that? Uh, man, the circus continues, bro. That's you think all so? I can really think, man. I, I mean, this feels like Bron just just bringing in names. I, I'm going to play this on Bron. Right. How are we going to play this on Bron? The only thing I will put on the fact that this didn't look good was they signed him on Kobe's birthday. Like, I didn't like that, okay? You signed him on Mamba Day. Hey. You know, hey. that's that's because him and Kobe did not get along. That's all right. Kobe called him soft. And listen, uh, Dwight Howard already uh, gave it up for Kobe. Pause. But, yeah, he did. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that was birthday. You know what I'm saying? He, he, you know, he gave, him his, uh, gave him his praise, gave him his due. Said, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Kobe was right to say what he said to me. Man. And uh, he did no wrong. I think what, we, what people do or GMs do, mm. they look at old clips and be like, man, remember he had this? Remember he could do that? Because Dwight Howard was a monster in Orlando yeah. those years. Those days are gone, man. Listen, you playing name circus now. It's exactly. Like, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, but then they, the names they had out there was Spates, Joakim Noah, and Dwight Howard. I mean, mm-hmm. in that in that pool of, of people, I'm definitely gonna go with Dwight Howard. Right. 
You know, I mean, Joe Kim Noah might be healthy for about half a year. When Joe Kim Noah grew that beard, it was in the Amazon with a monkey on his shoulder. That was it. <laughs> I'll never sign him again. He's not mentally stable. I don't want that dude on my <laughs> team. He had a blonde beard. Yeah. If they were smart, they would have made a play for Steven Adams, seeing if I could Absolutely. maybe sneak something by and get Steven Adams. Yeah, I would have done that too, made a trade. Yeah. Um, but, but I don't know. I'm interested. Listen, I, I'll be tuning in, man. Showtime. Yeah. I'll be tuning in. Yeah. Anytime. I think Bron's going to be gonna be fully uh, charged up this year. He's going to be motivated. They see a lot of people are picking Space him, too. Space Jam 2 done yet? Because yeah. if not, I don't know. Here you go with Space Jam, bro. Like, no. The Space Jam is never going to be done. It, it, what if He's Le- been filming all what, summer. What if LeBron ruins it? What, what if he ruins it for you? Space Jam? I mean, yeah. he can't ruin it for me because I mean, I, I'm going in with the expectation that it's, it's not going to be near <laughs> as good as the first one. Like, the first one was magic, but I was a kid. <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I so was like, I never knew people elevated Space Jam the oh, way bruh, you talk about it, man. Bro, like, how do you not like? Man. It was okay, Kev. It was just okay. It was, <laughs> it was okay, man. I thought it was alright. It was decent. It was okay movie. Uh, Mike, we knew what Mike was going to do at the end. You know, Mike was Mike a good it was actor? A movie, man. Yeah, but okay, well, Mike, Mike didn't was, have to be a good actor. He was Mike. He's playing Michael saying? Jordan. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. bro, Mike told us to drink Gatorade. We drank it. Yeah, you did. He told us to wear Air Jordans. We wore, man. Nah. You believe that you jumped higher in them Jays? I'm gonna tell you the thing that was that we did. He put the put the uh, the leg brace on your calf. Uh-huh. Why did we do that? Mike did it. He was the greatest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, <laughs> people start holding their tongue out when they go into the yeah. rack and all that, bro. He had the baggy shorts. Yeah, like, bro. You know what I mean? That was Mike, baby. You know what I mean? Right, right. Hey, it just no, was what it was. I, wanted, I can't believe you don't understand this movie. It was a classic, bro. I mean. It's a classic film, they bro. They got to redo it in 4K. They no, got to redo it. It's perfect the way it is, Perfect man. way it is? VHS, Do man. you have don't VHS? Put it on <laughs> Do I have the VHS? Sir, I don't even have a VHS player. I got Space Jam. Bro, uh, I have Space Jam in uh, the soundtrack. What? Yeah. <laughs> what other movies you got on VHS? That's it. You got a Disney movie? Stop. No, you, no, no, you I, do. No, no, no. You got something I, else on VHS. I wasn't, I wasn't a Disney kid. I wasn't okay. a Disney kid. But uh, yeah, I got Space Jam and I got Menace of Society. <laughs> What's up, Dad? Sorry. <laughs> Insider. <laughs> Lady what, Pops. what else you got on VHS? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that's about it, man. That's about it? Yeah, man. Okay. Uh, but I, I got the Space Jam soundtrack, bro. And I don't know if you know this, man, but Jake, like, he like ghost wrote half that album. Really? Yeah, Jay Z like ghost wrote half of the Space Jam soundtrack. I didn't know that. He did. He's got the last track is uh is Hove, and he he ghost wrote some bars for Bugs Bunny. Oh wow! Yeah, man, Hove's an accomplished guy. Yeah, hmm. yeah. That's I man. Get that man. Put the goat. Just put a goat symbol <laughs> everywhere. Put it like on outside of Rock Nation and just yeah. bronze that thing, man. Pause. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's pretty dope though. Yeah. All absolutely. right, man. So I don't know if LeBron's growing it. Speaking of basketball, though. Well, first of all, Dwight Howard signing with the Lakers is hilarious, by the way. I hope he ends up going in and being just being productive, bro. Because I do think he was hurt those years. His back was hurting, and he had the, he had the, the butt injury. The, here we go. I knew he was going to say I yeah, didn't want to say it. Booty injury. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Call it call it spade a spade. You know what I'm saying? Oh, boy. Say what it is. He did. He did. He had a rump injury. Buns was hurt. <laughs> Cody Strong. <laughs> <laughs> man, move on, man. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. All right, man. Speaking of basketball, Team USA he lost to Australia by uh, breaking a 78 game win streak. Sad. So why? How did they get Patty Mills with the work on these cats like this, man? The team is a team of mismatch, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? Just a bunch of rugrats. Like Kyle Kuzma got injured. He got to go home. Yeah, he can't even participate anymore. There's the frosty tips. Man, listen, that, that we knew that team was going to suck. Yeah, we did. Uh, you know what I mean? When Kimba Walker's the elder statesman of the group, yeah, it's you're, like, you're not, no, you're not nah, going to do well. They put that guy in a blender. And right. Patty Mills, are they giving him work. Right. They had hey, no listen, answer. This is, this is Melo's revenge, baby. Is that what this is? Absolutely, man. I do got to think that some of this is the fact that they didn't do right by Melo. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, this karma coming back to bite you. Yeah, it's like the color purple. She yeah. said it to Mr. when she put his hands up like this. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what this is with Melo. It man. is. Um, but no, Patty Mills went to work, man. He did, man. It was a close game, but I think you know you got other guys. The the, the gap between these well, first are of all, these players, man, huh? These are NBA players, man. I know, but they're Patty Mills, NBA player too, though. He is, but I mean, he was like all they had. Yeah, he was, but they had a lot of big guys that were there. Like the thing is too with with the the thing with the dream team that became so prominent. They sent a lot of young dudes over there before. They're like, well, let's send a real team out there to play, mm-hmm. and that's why they mopped everybody up. The thing that they got to realize is the guys that they could send didn't want to play. Like the guys that needed to be sent. Like mm-hmm. Jason Tatum is, you know, going. And like I said, Kimba Walker, no disrespect to him, but he's your best, pretty much your elder statesman on the team. Yeah. You're not 
slated to win in a lot of these cases. And a lot of these teams, <laughs> like in Australia, gonna slander Kimba like that. I'm oh. gonna slander Kimba Ooh. because I'm taller than Kimba. But then, <laughs> but also the the thing is with like the Australian team, those guys, their pride is on the line. Like they know if they don't, if they don't, if they if they go back and win, they are the man in their in their in their country. I mean, I feel like the NBA players, man, your pride is on the line. They don't man. mean it don't mean NBA. anything to them, though. If you lose, it should mean something. Without to you. they lose, yes. Team NBA, well, but see, no, you're right. If they lose, it does matter. But if yeah. they win, they don't get anything out of it. Yeah, man. They you, up, pride you into upheld the uh, traditions, and especially with this being a ragtag team, bro. Like y'all had to go out there and prove it. You know, yeah. what I mean? y'all had something to prove. Every last player on that roster had something to prove, man. Put that under your belt that you at least got out there and won something. Because who now, who's out there that's won something on that team? I don't know. I don't even know who's on that team to be honest with you. Anymore. Uh, all I knew is who all dropped out. Well, they see right. I think the best player on the team is uh Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. What they're saying, they say he's a dog. Oh yeah. I mean he's been a beast, but But I guess this year, no, they said this summer he got like stronger. Okay. They were saying he looks like like Dwayne Wade. Like seriously, like rookie. Second like, coming to D Wade. Yeah, yeah, the second coming to D Wade. Um but I don't know who the best player on that team is. Like I said, Kimball Walker's getting all the shots. That's, that's There's a lot of good. Celtics on this team too. It is. Not yeah. for long, man. Nah, not for long. You're not right. Not for long. I don't know if this would be a good idea. If I was Danny Ainge, I'm about to shut this down. I was like, hey, listen, I'm telling you, he's he going to put the call in real soon. Like, hey, oh, yeah. hey, listen, they lost the game, send them home. It's no, over. Now, was this an exhibition or was this a playing game or anything? Uh, I'm, I think this was a qualifying game. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, mm, yeah. You know, shut see. it down, bro. Yeah. Shut it down. Send games is like over there. We'll just give me the corner three and Kev will just do half court. So, yeah, do the gooning. Yeah. The gooning. <laughs> <Just like that. laughs> you know what I'm saying? We'll get sent on so quick. Yeah. <laughs> The father just did, oh, we get a lot of followers though. Hey, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That'd be dope. They'd be yeah. like, man, I'd be all over Instagram. Man. Oh, did for you sure. see him sock him in the mouth? Yeah, he had on dress socks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was never there to play. Look at this guy. He never left half court. He just he's, shot threes. He still got the warm ups on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Had to get a good sweat going, baby. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. But no, that team's buns. Uh, shoot, the biggest viral clip that went around this weekend was Ben Simmons, man. Was in the gym hitting threes. Yeah, man. Is the league in trouble though? No, no, he's he ain't not. gonna hit them in the game. Heck, though, he's gonna take him in the game. Yeah, you know, like even his form looked weird. Like you see, it's a shot. Like it's like it's he like he's doing it the, out. the. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. He looked hey, good though. I yeah, will say. Yeah, pause. Pause. Yeah, but I don't he think he's gonna. Do, I don't think he's gonna do it in the game. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think that his confidence will be there yet. He might take a couple open ones, but. I'm, I'm encouraged to see that he's working on that part of his game, man. If he can get a jump shot, man, he could be the oh, best if, point guard in the league easy. If he gets a jump shot, it's it's, it's trouble because yeah. he's out here playing bull, bully ball, too. Yeah. He looks like he's on a Fisher Price rim. <laughs> For real. Like he's out here dunking on cats like super hard, man. Like, I, I like that. Yeah. Got to do what you got to do. Now, he, ha- he has to put, he has to get that done with Joel Embiid on the court mm. because Joel Embiid is clogging that lane. Yeah. You know, that's, so what, that's why you got to get your jumper right. Yeah. Yeah. Once, once that come together, man, trouble, problem. That's all he needed. Yeah. That's all he needs is a jumper. That's why I always said it too. Well, you know, we talk about the pod like the Sixers aren't gonna go anywhere until Ben Simmons gets a jumper, man. Mm-hmm. Just like you know, uh, uh, Cam Newton get a proper Caesar. Uh, you know, <laughs> Ben Simmons got a proper jumper. <laughs> not going yeah. But the clip looked pretty dope. Um, I think it's promising. Um, and I do think that that it was uh, Rich Paul. And he dapped him up before, and I think Rich Paul put that video out. Hey, we'll say that maybe. All right, man. Uh, Dame Dash, he goes on a No Jumper podcast to talk down on Jay Z. Oh Lord, I got I got a lot of thoughts on this subject actually. So I'll I was let you go. All right, do you understand that Dame is the only cat that is not cool with everybody from the Rockefeller era? Mm-hmm. Jay has pieced it up with Cam. He gave Jim Jones a job. Mm-hmm. He's pieced it up. Him and Biggs are still cool. Mm-hmm. All you know, Emery, Tata, everyone else is all still cool. The only person that's not cool with them is Dame Dash. So when Dame Dash goes out and talks bad about Jay, called it, compared him to Trump, said that everyone knows that Jay ain't ish, Jay's about the dollar, Jay's about money, blah, blah, blah. The, the most damaging part he said, though, when he said Dame, Jay in the Dirty Mackin, mm-hmm. when he said Jay. Oh, yeah, that was. That was so, that was girly, right? Yeah. Like, I thought that I was like, come on, bro. That's, I mean, that as a man. Patty. Very much so. <laughs> but as a man, that literally is one of the worst things you can say about another man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't think anything of it. I didn't watch it. I found it very to be very funny to watch it. Mm. But Dame talks in a lot of circles, bro. What'd, hey, you, what'd you think about it, though? Look at man. Like, look right here. Uh huh. <laughs> Dame Dash had on a short sleeve a dress shirt and a you tie. You can never trust a person in a short sleeve oh, dress oh, shirt. Oh, don't with him. Oh, yeah. You know with what? a tie right. on. With yeah, a, with a tie, with a tie on. on. But even that, even without a tie, you cannot trust a dude with a short sleeve dress shirt, bro. Dame, Dame going out bad. That's yeah, what, yes. the only thing I saw. I was like, oh, Dame, it's, it's looking. It, Man, I think about like Dame. Remember him in the Big Pimp video? I mean, he had the bottles, yeah. and dancing. Or I'm sorry, that was give it to me video. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, that looked like wealth. You know what I'm saying? That looked like a good time. Dame looked like a he looked like a sad old man right now. He did. Yeah, and he's just, just he, and he's having a kid too. I mean, shout out to him for having more kids. But jeez, man, 
I mean, yeah, but uh, man, he was on no jumper, no no disrespect, no jumper. Cool. All disrespect and no jumper. He's a culture just... vulture. I don't like him. Nope. Yeah, I don't like. All that, right. Yeah, well, then yeah. that is where we stand. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah go on this ledge with me, kid. <laughs> but I don't uh, like dude. Man. Like, dude was like a porn star at one point. Like now he's like he still is. Yeah, he still is. Oh, just get out of here, bro. Why would Dame but, go on? A, why would Dame go on that podcast? That tell you uh, status of uh, where Dame Dash is. That's what I'm saying. If you really want to let that go, that you could have gave that. You could have to us. Could have gave it to you know uh, drink champs. Man's hat on, short sleeve. <laughs> McDonald's dress shirt with a tie. He looked like an assistant manager for McDonald's, man. Oh, that, was, that is Dame Dash. Yeah. That name used to ring bells. Okay. Speaking of McDonald's, so hold on. First of all, let's venture a little right, food well, here. Yeah. Did you get the Popeye's chicken sandwich yet? I have not, man. Okay. I, listen, I'm not waiting around the block. <laughs> even though even though I talked to the homie Clyde, uh-huh. and apparently, man, that, that chicken sandwich has been available for two months. <laughs> he, said, he said he's been eating these things all summer. I was like, bruh, what? What? Uh-huh. Listen, this is the thing, man. Black people, we got to do better. All right? We just have to. Do you know, I read an article, Mm -hmm. that Popeye's made $23.25 million in two days off a free promotion from from this chicken sandwich battle. Yeah, yeah. The fake battle that we came up with. Out of nowhere. Hey, man. Somebody, I'm telling you, the person who owns Popeye's owns Chick-fil-A. And they're sitting back laughing. (laughs) Social media is magic. It is magic. What got me laughing about it is... um, Chick Fil A and Popeyes are doing it the, like they're having this fake battle. The mm-hmm. best chicken sandwich of all time. You know what it is? It's the McChicken. It's a buck. It is the it is the it is the approved sandwich of all AAU programs in America. Uh, you I'm, know what? I can see best value, but yes, I mean, bro. Taste. It, it's, oh, no, it's I, not even, taste. I was gonna say it's not yeah. stepping up to the yeah. plate with Chick Fil A, and I don't know what that Popeyes well, chicken Chick, sandwich is hit well, for you. I don't either. I haven't had it yet because. Yeah. But the Chick Fil A. Bun was made by Jesus, man. That's I mean, it was curated by <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like it was I, I, that chicken, that spicy put that chicken, because man, listen, when they talk about that Popeye sandwich right now. But listen, okay, I, I've, I've, I've talked to I've talked to a couple of people that have had it. Uh huh. Everybody, amazing. Everybody's giving it that cosign. But you know what though? It's not chicken, Kev. And I'm gonna tell you, it's too good for everyone. Ooh, think about it. Maybe. No one is. No one's came out and said they don't like it. Which which yeah. leads me to know. That's like that per, that that clear Pepsi that was out. Mm-hmm. I've never liked Pepsi or Coca Cola in my life. That clear Pepsi came out, I couldn't drink enough of it. Really? That vanilla Coke mm-hmm. came out, I couldn't drink enough of it. You know why? Mm-hmm. It wasn't good for us. Something was in it that wasn't <laughs> good, and it just went out of nowhere. Yeah. They just stopped making it. Oh, you know? Hey, man. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. when I see the, the Popeye's chicken sandwich, man, first of all, shout out. To, I was the mean with the Jordan me, the Jordan me with the lady. With the old it. lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Listen, they, they out there whipping them up. Listen, yeah. I'm not going to lie, though. Like, uh, listen, this can be a little controversial. Go ahead. Come on. And, uh, you know, Gabe's music life, man, we like to have fun here, uh-huh. you know, but sometimes we got we to gotta keep it real. Uh-huh. I don't know how I feel about, you know what I'm saying, all these black people <laughs> clamoring over fried chicken, man. I don't know, like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, man, <laughs> oh, come boy. on now. Somebody, somebody having a hearty laugh. Very. Yeah. So I, I think it was a social that. experiment. But what? I'd be, I'd be. You're gonna get one. I'd be remiss to say I didn't want to try it. Like, <laughs> but I mean, it's like y'all, y'all talked it up so much. I want to see what the about. Yeah. Yeah, I then, do too. And I also kind of feel like, man, I feel like the expectation now has been set so high. I'm gonna be disappointed no matter what. Yeah. Like that. And if they can deliver, then you've done something. I just want to go to the line and then just, no. and just tell them like, you know why I'm here. First of all, listen, I'm, I'm, you know I why got, I'm here. I gotta wait a hot two weeks, man. Let this thing cool <laughs> off a little bit before I, because I'm not waiting 40 minutes in any line well, for chicken Well, at this point, you know bro. it's not even chicken. They're probably cooking rubber back there. Like, it's not even, like, it's <laughs> not. The thing, the chicken patty's, like, this big, bro. Like, I don't know if you, like, I've looks, seen a lot of. It looks delicious. It does, but Kim, I've seen a lot. We've seen a lot. <laughs> I mean, hi, shout out yeah, to my man, Jaime. Don't eat it, man. Don't, just wait. Bruh, bruh said they have that thing for two months. He's like, listen, twice a week. <laughs> So he's like, skinny as heck, though, man. Listen, he, he, he uh, listen. Himes was like, listen, <laughs> man, I don't even need no fries. What? All right, you just go in there, you buy that sandwich. We can split it. You know, I ain't gonna make it all the way through one. I ain't a quarter brother, of that boy, brother. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I just gotta see what it's hitting for. But uh, yo, I'm gonna tell you, people, man, we gotta do better. No, they we gotta keep, do better, man. They keep, I, somebody made some Popeyes dunks. I'm like, oh uh, yeah, those, just, those were actually made a long time ago, though. Mosh, Moshi, Mosh, whatever his name is, he made them a long time ago. Don't bring them back. It's nah, not the time. Throwing man. things away. I, like, I don't know if he's trying to be funny or like just showing that he made him before. I don't like I don't like it. Saw a dude yeah. jump through the drive through window and they ran out. Bro, you know, trying you know, to fight. Trying to fight the girls in there. I'm oh, like, yeah. we can't go out like that. You know this. what this reminds me of? Remember when we gave Jerry Rice all that flack when he had that helmet on with the piece of chicken on the end? That's what this is. That's what this is. <laughs> That's what this is, man. Like, now, now I'm conflicted about supporting it. <laughs> You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. I got to. But here's they the, put too much sauce on it now. <laughs> Every everybody I've encountered. Hey man, have you tried that Popeye chicken? Sandwich? I haven't had it. Listen. Well, you got to travel to get it though. 
I do have to travel to get it. You live in too good of a neighborhood. They but, don't put Popeyes in these neighborhoods. But all of them, man. Everybody, it, it's getting amazing. Like, I, I asked Hans. I called him. Uh-huh. I, I, just to laugh, actually, bro, because uh-huh. this is Popeyes right close to his crib. Uh-huh. I'm like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? That Popeyes is over there messing up traffic. He's like, hey, listen, listen here, bro. <laughs> listen here, man. It tastes like heaven. <laughs> I was like, word. Like he, I mean, we all had, we, we got all right. We gotta go now. No, no, no. Listen, we had no. a good forty minute conversation, <laughs> bro. Where he he was just gassing and saying, he like, listen, drive out here now. You you come you go buy it. You come to my house and eat it so it ain't cold. Uh-huh. Just, just just come on. I'm uh-huh. like, bro, I'm not driving clear to the other side of town right now, <laughs> man. And waiting in line forty minutes. People are doing it. He was like, but listen, he was like, it hit like that. He really? Like, yeah, it hit like that. And they keep playing. Chick Fil A gonna start selling chicken. Hey. Like just straight up right, chicken. Maybe, with. Right, you know, you're right. We're not talking about chicken anymore <laughs> on this podcast, right? It's not a podcast about fried chicken. I've embarrassed myself enough. <laughs> hey man, it's reality. I'm sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> it is, man. It's reality right now. <laughs> All right, man. Screw that. But um Dame Dash, whatever, man. You see we just ventured away from it. Just shut up, Dame. Stop. Yeah. It's just funny. Stop it. For real, man. All right, man. Push your T. Mm. He said he is working on a new project, says is it is a it is a masterpiece. That's what they always say. But I I believe him. I gotta believe him. Yeah, I say, oh, gotta oh, believe him. I believe him. I uh-huh. believe Push, man. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm interested, man. I, 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 I'm a little bit shocked that he's back and they're working on another album, though. I'm not. Um, when did Daytona come out? Uh, 2000. It was last year, right? Yeah, last year. Yeah, 2018. Yeah, yeah when Drake dropped. Yeah, yep, they, they 2018. Dropped the so yep. if he came right back, I'd be, I'd be happy about that. Yeah. You I, know? I, but who knows when it would actually drop, though? Because, I mean, you know, we might not get that album until top of, tw- or, you know what I'm saying, beginning of 2020 or something like that. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. they always start putting the, the, putting the fuel on it early. Yeah. And he just said he was working on it. So, yeah. You know. He says it's going to be a masterpiece. Like mm-hmm. you said, he's supposed to say that. Um, if uh, anybody that we believe, if uh, Pusha T, we yeah. believe that when he says that, okay, it might be a masterpiece. He's saying it's going to be Daytona, too. So I'm like, well, now. Hmm, Make right. it a little longer, though. A little longer. You know, I don't know, man. I think, I think. What was it? Seven, eight songs on Daytona. Yep, Thirty minutes. Yeah, I think that that was that was what That's made kind of it so good. Now too, he, it, it left you wanting more. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying. True. And, yeah, so it's like maybe maybe that's maybe that's the formula for certain artists. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You don't have to don't don't try to stream pad out your album and all that. Like, but yeah. although I do add on story added on on the end, so I, I make it look good. <laughs> you know. A little, uh, little longer, a little longer. Man, that was a great time. Oh lord, killed the man's whole rollout. Like Drake was switching, switching gangs and everything. He's going to deal. I mean, we killed it for like two weeks, man. And then it was King King. Do you love me all summer, bro? Yeah, all he summer. Was, we oh, forgot yeah. all about that. We was like, oh, who cares about that baby? Yeah. Do yeah. Kiki love me? That's what I want to know. That's it. They had a dance. Had a little dance. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Shiggy. Is he still out there? I, I don't know. He he just come. Had your time, no player. Yeah. All right, man. Um, Chance the Rapper goes on Ebro and says that he is top five yeah, and not number five. That's right. Get you some rest, Chance. Ch- top five dead or alive or top five ever or top five right now? Yeah, top five goat. Come on, man. Get you some Chance. rest, bro. Get yeah. you some rest, man. Young right? Chano. I, I, love the, I love the confidence in yourself. Mm-hmm. I love that you went on there and said it. Mm-hmm. You know, you're supposed to say that. Yeah. Rappers are supposed to say that. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, but no, you're not top five. I ain't gonna lie, I was more proud of Ebro actually what being Ebro up there because uh, he had, he was like, uh, was I on your top fifty list? Ebro was like, no, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't not, nah, nah, you ain't all on top fifty. <laughs> no, 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 you ain't you ain't got there yet. Uh-huh. He was like, I wasn't on your top fifty. He's like, no, you ain't got there yet, man. No, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, he stood on that. He he was it wasn't no like, well, I mean, you know, hey, man, soon enough, man, I, I think you're not. He was like, no, Mm-mm. we gotta get the homies together and do a list. That might be the next pull up. That might be the next. The next uh, get a list together. Uh, game, game GML debate. Me and Chan talked about that, and uh, yeah, we it was common consensus that uh, Project Pack got to be at least top forty. We got to do it. Yeah, we got to do it. Yeah. We got to get a list. Mm-hmm. We got to do it. Get the homies together. That'd be a fun. That'd be a fun recording. It would be because we'd be arguing, and that'd be fun. That's all. Those make the best <laughs> ones. Our biggie debate was organic, and it was just you. You guys went through. Uh, a, a blizzard to get there, so you know it was. Yeah, I mean it was needed. It. it was needed for the culture. I got to go back and check that video. Yeah, yeah. And so often, I'll, I'll, we still get hits on that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, there's a lot of videos. Yeah, I mean, yeah I, I, no, like I somebody forget. hit us up on Lupe video. I was like, what? All right, well, cool. All, now some of them I don't remember. That one I remember. I remember that one. I, I mean, a lot, a lot of them I remember, but I just be like, uh, sometimes it's just weird. Like I, we see the the last three videos, and like those are kind of the ones that we watch to see what they're doing. <laughs> After that, I have no clue what those videos. Yeah, are doing yeah. Like, like, people like, get mad. They belong to you, especially man. the Nas stands. Like when you, they always would come Ooh. in here and say like weeks later, like, "Man, who's the, were you the were you the, the dreadhead or the hater?" I saw that. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> like, yeah. yo, man, like, get you some water, man. Like, <laughs> I didn't say nothing bad about Nas. I'm one good. <laughs> that, was, stop. <laughs> that was the whole thing. Though. I was like, hey, you, didn't, you didn't really say anything. No, I didn't. Bad about it. Like, yeah. I didn't, man. Yeah. Um, but but listen, they, you didn't say it was perfect. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Chance, you're not top five.
Um, do a Taylor review, buddy. Get back in the get back in the stew, man. I feel like you owe us a new one after the big day, man. Think so? Yeah. He, I, whoever uh, helped you curate Acid Rap, man, find them and uh, pay them a lot of money and put them in some handcuffs. Lock them in the studio with you and uh, get it done, man. Because you know, I mean, uh, your trajectory going the wrong way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's going the wrong way right now. But I, I think that that can be resolved, man. I think that I think you got it. Just put more music out. You know, I, I agree with you. Just put, put more, more good music put out. Put more good music out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, if you're going to put out more of the, the, the big day, then to keep it to yourself. <laughs> this is going another way. All right, we're getting out of here. Yeah. You got anything else, bro? Uh, oh, uh, we can talk about a little bit of uh, movie news, man. Did you see the Breaking Bad movie is coming out in October? Really? Yeah, man. Same actor? announced today. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's called uh, El Camino. Really? Yeah. It's the Breaking yeah, I, Bad I movie. I saw where. Uh, Black Panthers come out in 2022. Listen, you know how I feel about these uh, announcements for stuff that's going on way down the line, bro. Don't even tell me. We're not going to see it because the rainforest is getting burned. We're not. Something's going on. Like, I don't know. Like, we're not going to see the movie anyway. We're not anyway. going to make it. No, nah, we're not going to make it. You know what I mean? Something's like, going to happen. All the monkeys are going to come over here and the gorillas and stuff. Like, keep, leave the forest alone. What's going on, bro? Yeah, bro? Like, don't be like, man, listen, by 2027, man, we're going to have it. Nah, y'all might have it. I don't know right. what's going on anymore. I don't like. No, you know what, what sucks with that though. It's kind of where we got upset with gaming though, because it was like you talk about a movie or a game for like years and years yeah, and I, years. But by the time to get game get here, it's like I don't want to see it. Listen, bro, this is America. I want it now, now. right now, right now. Okay. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> Otherwise, don't say a word. <laughs> yeah. yeah and, uh, did they get Spider Man back on track yet? Heck no. Spider Man. Sony, is, give it up. <laughs> Just give did it you up. Read man. that story though. I didn't know. Okay, going on so they with went that? to the, they were they were negotiating back and forth, and they had a number set what it was going to be. Mm-hmm. Then I guess at the last minute, um, Sony, I mean Disney, drove the price of like four hundred percent, and was like, "When we do this, we want to split it down the middle." And then we basically split it fifty fifty. Mm-hmm. And Sony's like, "No, we're giving you the property. That's kind of like somebody we're letting someone use games of life, but you know they they want seventy percent, we get thirty. <laughs> it's like, no, it's our name. Like, what do you mean? Like, no, Sony, you might have to just give it up, man. Do it, give in, whatever they want, because the movies that y'all made, uh, oh, they've, the, been yeah, they, they've been bizarre. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, you seen they, Venom? Marvel brought Spider Man to life. Okay? Absolutely. So just give them what they want at this yeah. point, because y'all can't do nothing with it. And that's and that's that's so, that's Disney stance. Yeah. And Disney with Disney Plus coming. You seen the, the shows that's coming on Disney Plus? I seen that price point. That bad boy was going to be what, like seven dollars a month. I was like, woo. Ooh, man, yeah. Disney's coming for a head time. They are. They are. And it's including Hulu? Yeah. Come on, man. Take yeah. my money. Hard, Take it now. Hard times out here. Netflix? <laughs> hey, man, your move. <laughs> man, that's Netflix ain't slick. Wait, come out, come out with uh, Rocco's Modern Life and Invader Zim. I still got to watch that. I watch either one Maybe of them. Maybe tonight. Yet. Maybe I get it on. I haven't watched either one of them yet. Me, yeah, me either. Yeah, I'm going to get to one of them. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know how it is. Yeah. Let me know. Now might be a good time to get to it, man. Yeah, especially with gaming being dead. Yeah. Nothing else going on. I got to get, like I said, John Wick in. Yeah. Pause. There you go. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> I am Nate here. This is Ken. Yo, we are Games Music Life. This is the Games Music Life podcast, episode 180. Drink more water, people. Peace. Peace.